welcome to my channel, Random Andy's channel. I appreciate you being here. If you're new here, I uh, hope this uh, video uh, makes you want to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for uh, returning. Let's get into what I watched in January for the very first time. And the first film of January is The Devil Wears Prada, starring Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep. Uh, it's about a fashion guru and her new assistant, um, and the struggles she has with her new assistant. It's, uh, it's a great little dramedy. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, and then the next film was uh, 1995's Sabrina, which is a remake of the 1950s Sabrina with Audrey Hepburn. This one is with Harrison Ford, and I was a little rather disappointed with this one. I really wish uh, I had uh, seen this sooner because I had been highly anticipating it and just didn't do anything for me. And then the next film was The Sound of Metal from 2020. Um, great film about a drummer who uh, finds out he is losing his hearing. It's uh, so good. And then up next we have is A Star is Born with, from 1976 with Barbara Streisand. This is the fourth main version, um, and I've finally saw, seen all of them, the 1920. Uh, the 1950s, the 1970s, and then the 2018 version. Um, and this film was actually really good too. All four of them are good. I highly recommend going to see all four of the Star is Born movies. Fantastic. And then up next we have Emma from 2020. I was rather disappointed with this one. Um, it's a comedy, but it was okay. Um, and then uh, we have The Descendants Up Next from 2011 starring George Clooney. This is about a man struggling with the death of his wife. Um, it's a pr pretty depressing movie, kind of sad, pretty sad, and I wasn't a really a fan, but hey. I know there are other people, I know there are other fans of this movie, and hey, to each his own, you know. Um, and then... Up next, we have Pieces of a, of a Woman from Netflix, starring Vanessa Kirby and Shia LaBeouf. Um, this was really, really good. I love this movie. It, if you saw my uh, top ten of 2020, you'll know it was like my number two film of the year. So good. And then up next, we have Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> and then Howard the Duck. Probably the two worst movies I saw so far this year. Howard the Duck. I... <laughs> If you had to choose between them, I would choose Dragon Ball Evolution over Howard the Duck. Uh, I don't... <laughs> it was just really weird. I... Duck boobs? <laughs> okay, and then up next we have Greenland from 2020. Um, this is really good. Um, surprisingly with uh, Gerard Butler. Um, a disaster movie. Um, it was really good. And then we have 2014's Get On Up with Chadwick Boseman. I was highly anticipating this movie. I was rather disappointed. Chadwick Boseman is, is great, but the movie around him, it just didn't do anything for me. I, I was rather disappointed. It was, yeah, I was really disappointed. And then we have 1993's The Adventures of Huck Finn um, with... Uh, Elijah Wood. I believe he was 12 in this film. It's really cool to watch uh, a young Elijah Wood in this movie, but all in all, the movie is just okay. And then we have 2020's The New Mutants. Um, not a fan of this one either. It was okay. <laughs> I could have done without releasing it and ever releasing it, but hey, here we are. And then we have... 1963's McClintock, um, starring John Wayne. Huh, I finally saw another John Wayne movie. Um, this was fine, um, but it's always fun watching a John Wayne movie. And then, starting in 1970, we have Beneath the Planet of the Apes, the sequel to The Planet of the Apes, the original with Charleston Heston. I like this one. Um, also, surprisingly, I always heard, like, Charleston Heston didn't always hate doing sequels. And... It was, to my surprise, watching this movie, hey, he came back for the sequel. It was kind of cool to see, but yeah. 
Um, and then we have 1971's Escape for the Planet of the Apes. Um, I like this better than Beneath. It was fantastic. Um, basically, it's kind of like a uh, remake of the original Planet of the Apes, but switching roles. I shouldn't say it's a, kind of a remake, but it kind of switches the roles. It's very interesting. Um, and then we have one of the 1990s biggest box office disasters, Cutthroat Island. <sighs> this was uh, really disappointing because Gina Davis, she's a great actress, but oh my gosh, she... <sighs> it was just rather disappointing because she felt very miscast in this role. It, she didn't feel... I didn't felt nothing, sadly, so... And then in 1972, we have Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Um, yeah, as you can tell, there's a little trend going on. I've watched all the Planet of the Apes, the originals. Um, this was okay. Uh, not as good as Escape or Beneath, but it's a good one-time watch. And then up next, we have 2020's One Night in Miami. It's on Amazon Prime. I highly suggest this one. It's really, really good. Um, and then we have 2021's, the very first film of 2021 that I saw for this year, uh, Lockdown from Amazon Prime. It's an uh, Amazon Prime original. This was bad. I, it, like, tried to, you know, take advantage of the coronavirus and be like, hey, let's be the first movie to do this kind of thing. And it just fell flat. Like, Anne Hathaway starts in it, but she couldn't save it, sadly. And then we have 1973's, and in 1973 we have Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Um, not as good as, like, Escape or anything, but still fine. Um, it's uh, cool seeing these movies. Like, I love the Planet of the Apes series. If you have never seen, like, the prequel series from uh, 2011, oh my word, please watch them. And then we have 2012's The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Oh my word. This movie is just powerful and just emotional i won't say much but please watch this movie it is fantastic and then we have 1977's the many adventures of winnie the pooh why did i watch this well i was bored one night and couldn't find anything to watch and then i saw this it's like hey haven't really seen it all the way through so why not um and then we have netflix's outside the wire <sighs> kind of like a modern day terminator but not <laughs> didn't really sat with me well so and then we have 1939's dark victory um i love this movie it's about a woman who comes to terms with uh finding out she has a brain tumor and uh how she uh tries to overcome the uh impossibilities of it it's fantastic i highly recommend it with betty davis um and then in 1993 we have what's eating gilbert grape with johnny depp and leonardo dicaprio Man, like Leonardo DiCaprio is a powerhouse. I mean, we are, if you didn't know that now, you do now. <laughs> like, I cannot believe his role in this. It was amazing. I won't say much. Just watch this movie. It's fantastic for Leonardo DiCaprio's first Oscar-nominated role as a young kid. It's amazing. And then starting a series that I uh, started after I did uh, the Planet. I am doing God, the Godzilla series, the original series from the 1960s and 1970s and 1980s. Um, first off was Godzilla vs. King Kong from 1962. <laughs> Maybe the last 10 minutes they were versing each other, but it was just the rest of it was just people talking and some random stuff going to an island to get Kong and all that stuff. Like, it was a mess. <laughs> and up next is 1993's Grumpy Old Men. I absolutely adore this movie with uh, Jack Lemmon and uh, Walter, Ma Walter Mayhew. And um, I'm a huge fan of Jack Lemmon. And it's so much fun watching these guys play off each other as old men. And it's just an adorable film. And then we have 2020's Promising Young Woman. Um... I was rather disappointed with this movie. It's, uh, the, like, the last 20 minutes is great, but the rest of the movie, I was rather disappointed again. Um, and then 1964's Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, 1965's Invasion of Astro Monster, 1966's 
Ebrahia, Horror of the Deep. 1967's Son of Godzilla. 68's Destroy All Monsters. 1969's All Monsters Attack. And 1971's Godzilla vs. Hedora. And that was all the films I had watched for the very first time in January of 2021. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, if uh, you are new here, click the subscribe button, click the like button as well, and maybe even turn on the notifications to get notified of future videos. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much. I want to thank my uh, Patreon uh, supporters, Matt Lane Fitness and Mark McKeever. Um, but the link is down in the description below if uh, you would like to support me because uh, the money that goes into Patreon gives me uh, the power in making better content, making uh, better backgrounds and uh, better effects for the videos as well as making better lighting and better sound for uh, what you are hearing now, which is probably okay. Um, anyways, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Stay random, guys.